Hello everyone, now I'm going to tie a fly that's going to be the first one in the series of uh, three Nymph, Emerger and uh, Dry Fly So this is going to be a Cadiz Nymph, even though it has a tail uh, It's just something I like to do I like tails on my nymphs So first of all I'm going to put the hook size number 12 The rest of the hooks are going to be size 14 for the Emerger and Dry Fly but this one has shorter shanks, so I had to use uh, this larger sized hook. But I like it, it has nice and wide gap. Yeah. So, first of all, start your thread. This is Beavis 12O orange because I'm going to create a hotspot at the end. So, first, start your thread and color of a piece of your thread. So, because I don't want to show it through the hurl as I tie in everything. So first step is going to be tails, even though it's, a, as I said, a caddis nymph. I like to have tails there. So take a bunch of hurls, tie it in, cut off the excess. Very simple. Okay, now you need to hurl and it's going to be a very large turkey feather just take one of those hurls cut or break off the tip I'll cut it now so go a little bit towards the rear end of the hook and then go back this way you will create a little bit of taper uh, as you just put all the materials on the hook now you create a taper as well which is saving some time. Uh, if you need, as I do now, cover a little bit more of this thread. It's not, I mean, it's not necessary, but I like to do it. So, like so, cover everything, and then go back. The next step is super glue, and the super glue is going to keep this fly from breaking off easily under the teeth of our favorite fish. What I like to do is I like to add a drop of it. Uh, you can use the super glue pack bottle to distribute this or you can use dubbing needle to distribute uh, the super glue as well as to remove any excess that you don't want to have here. So after you did it, just wrap the hurl in touching or not so touching turns. It's up to you. The the super glue is going to protect everything here, so you can do it like a ribbing or creating a, a body. It's all completely up to you. Okay, one wrap, second wrap, cut the excess. I mean the, the super glue is holding everything down, you don't need like a whole bunch of wraps to secure it. Create dubbing loop and move the dubbing loop towards the end of the hook, just a little bit. Insert your dubbing twister and now I'm going to show you what I do with CDC. As you can see those fibers are very long and those are very short so what I do I place the clip by an angle as you can see by an angle and now I make my cut parallel to the clip this way I'm, I'm ensuring that I'm going to have all those fibers more or less same length now I want some peacock dubbing here I like this loop to be a little bit thick and now insert your peacock here and spin it spin everything well after you spin it just mount it on your fly try not to touch the body because if the super glue is not dried yet you're going to ruin everything so spin it. Now I'm going to show you something very handy. 
you want to catch this thread first. One. Okay, and now just one in front of it to secure everything. Now look at the fi CDC fibers, take a look at them. You can choose to like pull it back with your hand, but what I like to do is I like to go in front with my thread and push it with my th thread backwards. Slide your thread down the bead. That's the easiest way how to direct all those fibers where you want them. So, as you can see, just move and make your hotspot and it's going to go back. Now, the reason why I didn't position all those fibers by the lower angle is I want to I want them to move in water a little bit more and this is the best way to do it so as you can see this is finished fly very simple now here a little there are little fibers like they're missing but it's okay it's quite even and sparse so this is it finished fly Thank you very much for watching, if you like this fly please say what you did like, if you didn't like this fly just say what you didn't like, maybe what you would like to see in future, and that's it. Thank you very much for your time, I appreciate that, and see you next time again.